Those who do nothing are inviting shame as well as violence. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, just making a quick video. I already made a video um, back a while ago. It has to be well over a year ago when I had my original XD 9mm as far as um, polishing the barrel. Um, let's do this because this is a loaded gun. Uh, the magazine is loaded but I do not have one in the chamber and uh, since I don't have my tripod with me I will have to uh, press check this for you. You're gonna have to take my word for it. It's it's not loaded. Um, now the camera is off to the side, so I'm not pointing this at myself. I have it off to the side somewhere. Um, but if I can get a shot of this, you can see straight down to the firing pin. There is no round in there. Uh, I know some of you are like, "Wow, you really wasted like 45 seconds of my life on that," but. There is going to be some fuck nut that's going to say, Oh, you didn't safety check in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, suck my cock. Anyway, so it is a safe weapon. Whether you want to take my word for it or not. Um, also, these come with a uh, cocked uh, indicator, and there, it is not there. So even if there was a round, it is not cocked. Um... But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to take a long time. I'm not going to explain the process and everything. I've already have a video. You guys can, you know, that are new can go back and look at it. But I did it again as most guns, but it seems exceptional with the XDs. There gets a lot of wear right here on the, uh, the barrel hood from the slide going back and forth. Um... You also get a lot of wear around the uh, the uh, crown, just in from the crown of the barrel. Um, it's purely aesthetic, but it drove it drives me fucking nuts. That's why I did it in the first fucking place. But with this one, um, it was actually happening a lot quicker, and it was making me crazy. Um, I think I've only put maybe. Uh, I want to say maybe three, four hundred rounds through here, and it started to go already, and it was driving me absolutely fucking crazy. So, I had to do something about it. Last time, though, if you watched my uh, other, my older video, I took this, uh, the recall spring assembly guide rod here, I took the face of that down, uh, to the bare stainless, and I, uh, so it was stainless here, and it matched. So it matched the uh, the barrel. This time I didn't do it, um, but uh, so technically this video is for two purposes: to show you what I did with the nine millimeter, and uh, you know basically I just used the. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm not going to go into detail. Uh, the 1500 grit uh, automotive sandpaper. Um, you can wipe a baby's butt with that and not get a flinch out of them. That's how smooth that is. Um, you, you basically get the finish down and off, and then you get your flits and do it by hand or the Dremel or whatever. Uh, whatever is easier for you. But, um, yeah, so. Uh, reason one for the video is to show you what I got going on right here. Uh, show you the uh, the whole modification that I made. Um, I did say in one or two of my other videos that once I did it, I would show you the results, and there you go. Also, as sort of a poll, so you guys could... Uh, just leave comments and respond to the video but and again I'm not pointing it at myself even though I've proven to you it's unloaded um, but 
should I just leave it like that or should I go and um, you know stainless this out to just get rid of the finish on there um, this doesn't wear as fast as the barrel um, at least not on the outside I notice the inside does um, so it's not gonna oops it's not gonna drive me as fucking crazy as the barrel did but uh, just an aesthetic uh, pole I guess do you think I should take that back down to stainless like I had the last one um, or what you know I mean I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but one like I said aesthetically it was pissing me off I can't stand that wear and spots of stainless showing through any fucking way um, two the XD comes with the black polymer frame but then it comes with the uh, this little aluminum plate in here with the uh, serial number on it so there's a splash of silver there so then I just threw it up top and up front anyway but yeah like I said two reasons one uh, lighting's bad but honestly I can see the camera's reflection in it um, one, show you the update, uh, whole modification on that, um, that I did. And two, uh, pole time, do you think I should do the, uh, the, uh, guide rod as well and, uh, stainless that out, remove the finish and get it to match in that. So, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the new, uh, the new barrel all finished just let me know what you guys think uh, about the barrel if you guys dig the look if not um, and also do you think that I should uh, take the finish down to the uh, stainless on that guide rod so uh, just leave your comments hit me up and let me know thanks for watching